Hey, right, my name's Stephen, right? So we out here to show our people that we God chosen people. We're the greatest people on the face of the earth. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Because guess what, right? This is grandma's house, am I lying? You ever seen this picture like on TV and churches? So this is a lie right here. With this being a lie, it comes with us being disconnected from the Bible. You understand what I'm saying? Because Christ is a black man, did you know that? Christ is a black man, he only came for one nation of people. So what the author was saying is, we lost our nationality. Real quick, go back to uh, 1 Timothy 2 and 9, right? Because there's a lot of stuff going on in the world. A lot of domestic violence going on, right? How y'all doing? What's your name? Solomon. Solomon. That's a mighty name in the Bible, right? What's your name? Eve. So right, this. I was just telling the sister that Jesus Christ, this is not the color of Jesus Christ, right? Y'all y'all seen this picture everywhere, right? Yeah. According to the Bible, what color is Jesus? Black? How you know? What you think? It's wool hair. It's wool hair? I like that. What you got? That's what it's saying. But it, it was the area he was born in. It was the area? It was the area he was born in. The Bible says Jesus is a, uh, 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 was born in Bethlehem. Okay. But he's a, his dad and his mom uh -huh. uh, was a Nazareth. A Nazareth. So where is this Where is this located on the earth today? So that's why, that's why his color. Where is this located today on the earth, y'all? That's Africa, right? Yeah. That's in Africa. Watch, watch this real quick. This is Jesus Christ's father, forefather. Yeah. Right? Watch this. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. I am black, but come leave. Hold on, read it again. Listen what Jesus Christ's forefather looks like. Read it again. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. I am black, but come leave, O ye daughters of Jerusalem. So, 511. So King Solomon says, I'm black but beautiful. Oh, you daughters of Jerusalem, right? Jerusalem. That's the place, right? In Israel. God chosen people. Y'all are the daughters of Israel. You understand that? Watch this real quick. Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 11. His head is as the most fine gold. His locks. His what? His locks. Who wear locks on the face of the earth? Who have locks? Who got dreadlocks? Who wear that? You say everybody or? A lot of people wear dreadlocks. Okay, it's a lot of people that like to be like a certain group of people now. There's a lot of people that come up with a lot of dance, come up with, uh, uh, every year it's a new dance come out and everybody imitates. So who is that people? Who really wear, who really wear dreadlocks? The most, right? Who? There you go. So it ain't everybody. It's some people that always want to be like somebody. Jeremiah 14 and 2. So now I'm trying to paint a picture and show y'all in this Bible is our history book. Just give us a second, all right? Give us a second. I'm finna wake you up. Just deal with me, my sister. Watch this. So King Solomon is what color? He black. And what kind of hair texture and style he had? He had dreads. He had dreads. Yeah, yeah. This is Christ's forefather. Watch this. Well, hold on. Who his daddy is? Who his daddy is? Joseph. No, no, no. Solomon daddy. Who Solomon daddy? You tell me. There you go. You right. Watch this. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. Judah mourneth and the case thereof language. They are black unto the ground. So we say the Jews are in mourning. This is a prophecy. Mourning meaning we the ones that's going through poverty. We the ones in the ghettos. You understand? You look, in the, you look anywhere around the world, that's where we dwell, in the worst parts of the neighborhood. We the ones dying. We the ones get Section 8. We get the worst of food. We want to fill the prison system along with our brother, the Hispanics. On this sign, real quick, where do y'all see yourself? What would be your nationality on this sign? Right here, real quick. Come look at this sign for me. Come look at this sign. Y'all can come up. Check out this sign real quick. What would y'all call yourself? I know you can't see that far. What you call yourself, R, oh, right here today? You did American Black. I'm dealing with you right now, right? So you're American Black. What would your tribe be? What's your father? It'd be Judah. It'd be Judah. What's you? So, like R said, Judah. They call us American Black. This is the name that God gave us. Judah. We found out Jew, the Jews are what color? They black. They black, right? Read it one more time. Judah mourning and the case thereof language. They are black unto the ground. So the deeper you dig into the ground, what color is the soil going to be? Because this is the surface. If you dig deeper, what color is the dirt going to turn? 
You said it. it's coming out your mouth. It's, it's gonna be black, right? They're black unto the ground. Read it again. To the morning and the case thereof language. They are black unto the ground. And the cry of Jerusalem is going up. So the cry of Jerusalem meaning, guess what? The things that have been happening to us, the atrocities that have been happening to us, is going up into the heavens. We're in the last days. Now that God is waking us up. It's time for us to return. To return back to our nationality because we can't repent unless we know who we are. The first step of repentance is knowing who we are. It's a church on every corner, right? Why are we not knowing that we are the children of Israel? Why do we not know this is not Jesus Christ? We do. Y'all do? So it's some steps that y'all must follow. I'm glad you said that. The first step is knowing who you are. All right? So now, Judah. Who come from the tribe of Judah? The greatest man that walked the earth. Who is that? I say Solomon. Go ahead. Okay, you say Solomon. Who, who greater than Solomon? Nobody. The Bible says should be no man richer or wiser than Solomon. Yep. All right. What about Christ? Watch this. You can say he a man, but he was... Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So Christ come from the tribe of Judah. He would be called a, a African American today, right? You understand? So you said that Christ never walked the earth. No, he did. He walked, so he had flesh, right? Or was he a puff of smoke? He, he wasn't the same as us. He was just in flesh. He wasn't the same as us. Why you say that? He was, he, he was, he was different. His, 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 Hebrews his, 2. Let's see what the Bible says, all right? So that's what we come out here to show our people, yeah. right? Who they are, what they must do. And we giving y'all those steps. We're going to speed it up a little bit, but I want to show you Christ, right? What's what it say about Christ? Hebrews chapter 2, verse 16. For apparently he took not on him the nature of angels. So he wasn't like an angel on the earth. Watch this, read. But he took on him. The seed of Abraham. So he come from the seed of Abraham. A seed, the man carries the seed, right? The seed is sperm, right? So he come from Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, all the way down from King David, Solomon on forth, right? That's why he called the son of who? The son of David as well, right? Watch this. Wherefore, in all things, it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. So he was made like his brethren. His brethren are the who? The 12 tribes of Israel. You rub your skin and let you know, like us, we are the children of Israel, his brethren. Watch this. That he, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself have suffered being tempted. He is able to succor them that are tempted. So Christ was tempted of all things. He was tempted of all sins and he overcome. So now we show on our people is things that y'all must overcome, right? Do y'all want salvation? Do y'all want to be saved? First King 8 and 46, and we're going to show y'all how y'all can be saved. How long y'all been together? 12 years. 12 years. How many children y'all have? One? How long y'all been married? 12 years. 12 years. We got married. We got married. Oh, yeah, 11 years. Yeah, 12. Yeah. Okay, I'll praise. That's a beautiful thing. And you, my sister, you married? You want to be married? Why not? You got a boyfriend? It's hard to find this. It's hard to find when we. You want a boyfriend? <laughs> you want to be married, my sister? You don't? No, go on. They give me. Uh, that messed up. <laughs> give me uh, first Timothy two and nine. Real quick, she said, "Be saved and shall be." Give him with the okey doke. Is it now? Watch this. I like that. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm coming back into them. I'm gonna show y'all two sisters something. Cause be honest with me. We out here to deal with our people and show them which way they must go according to the Bible, right? So now, how y'all had a boyfriend? Yes or no? Right, right. So we gonna show you something. Watch this. First Timothy chapter two verse fourteen. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman. Being deceived was in a transgression. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing. So God said the women shall be saved in childbearing. In order to have a child, you got to have what? A man, right? You got to have sex. You got to have a man, right? Watch this, though. She shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. So it's say in faith and charity, holiness, right? So I'm, my question is, what's holiness? What is holy? What does it mean to be holy? Because y'all want to be saved, right? 
You want to be saved from the destruction that's coming. Because guess what? It's famine on the way. Right? Because right now with sickness on the earth, it's a lot of domestic violence. It's like three domestic violent murders that happened this past week. Right? Because guess what? Nine times out of ten, they not married. They cheating. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 